Hey survivalists, Malcolm here with another BattleBox video. Now last month, BattleBox covered your second priority of survival, which is water. This month, they are covering your first priority of survival, which is, come on, I know you know this, that's right, shelter. Most experts agree that shelter has to be your first priority of survival in a survival situation. And the reason for this is that it'll protect you from extreme colds to extreme heat, and it'll help uh, prevent you from getting things like pneumonia and frostbite or heat stroke, you know, keeping you healthy. If you get any of those things in a survival situation, man, game over, it's not gonna be good for you. So this box, this giant box, is focused on shelter and shelter building. I'm very excited about this box, guys. It looks like a lot of fun. This is October 2016, Mission 20. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so let's jump right into this guy. Oh man, we got we got some big old toys in this box this month. I cannot wait. All right, so the first item in the basic box is the Elk Ridge ER199X. I'm guessing that is this guy. Look how pretty this box is. Elk Ridge. Oh man, check this out. Look at this guy. Woo. This is like a little mini tomahawk here. I don't even know. All right, let's open them up and see what we got here. Look at that guy. Man, that is, uh, that's like a meat cleaver right there, Jesus. Man, this, this guy definitely looks like he's got a, it's like a multi-function tool. But you know what, so I, I, I'm not a hunter, but I think that this might be for, uh, hunting for skinning an animal for uh you know gutting a deer or something because you see these hooks a lot uh with hunters where they make a little hole they get that guy in there and they just pull it along and it just rips the skin wide open and i i don't know i'm just gonna take a wild guess here that this meat cleaver style might be for breaking bones right you get a, a deer leg you start hacking away holy shit Start hacking away at the uh, the deer like that. So that's that's my guess. And with a name like Elk Ridge, you know, that, I think that would also kind of uh, suggest that it has something to do with hunting. But that is just a mean looking blade there. I also like that you can get up close like this, right? It's got these finger wells here. So you can probably go, you know, do some real fine work like that, as well as some real, hold it back here, get some leverage. And really go to town on uh, on some deer meat there. So with these hex holes here, I'm not really sure what those would be for. Then I, I mean, I was thinking that would be for, you know, uh, like bolts or something. But in regards to skinning a deer, I'm not sure. But a real pretty pretty little knife here, man. I, I think this is definitely going to go up on my wall. It's got a nice sheath that goes along with it. So there you go guys, that is the Elk Ridge ER199X. Uh, for all my hunter fans out there, is that what this is for? Is this a, uh, for, I guess, chopping up a, a deer or an elk for skinning it? Let me know down in the comments, guys. All right, so the next item in the basic box is a pocket chainsaw. Let's see. Oh, here we go, here we go. So I will say, um, there's a lot of pocket chainsaws in the market, and I've heard uh, a lot of them are kind of cheap. Uh, this looks like a pretty high quality pocket chainsaw. So we take it out of this package, and you have uh, these two handles here. I guess they go like that. Okay, they fit your hand, fit in your hands pretty well. And then this is the chainsaw here. Man, look at all those teeth in this guy. So like I said, uh, already this just seems a higher quality than uh, what I'm used to seeing with these pocket chainsaws. A lot of them, they just have uh, cheap little fabric um, handles. A lot of them are a lot more flexible. This is actually pretty rigid, pretty stiff. Uh, but these teeth on it, man, this feels very solid here. So it comes with the two handles. Uh, don't ask me how to attach them. This little guy, and then just some some string here and another one of these little guys. Okay. All right, where's the packaging? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it, guys. I got it. Hold on. This slides in there. Bam, just like that, okay? Stick with me here. I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to try to... 
Now, what if I... I'm gonna figure this out, guys. All right, I think you do something like that. Yeah, I got that, man, but how do you how do you attach both of these? Yeah, there we go, there we go. We're making progress here, guys. All right, so there we go, guys. That is the pocket chainsaw. It's got these two comfortable hand grips. Uh, it's got some rope that goes from your hand grips to the actual uh, saw itself, just to give it a little bit more flexibility. And like I was saying, this seems like a higher quality chainsaw than I've seen in the past of pocket chainsaws. A lot of them are pretty cheap, right? You get them for like 10 bucks. This guy actually cost $24.99. So this is a little bit of a higher end pocket chainsaw. So I'm pretty interested to see if this works any better than the typical standard uh, pocket chainsaw. So next up we have Smith's Tinder Maker. I don't know what the hell that could be. What the hell is a Smith's Tinder Maker? Uh, this looks like this might be something called a Smith's Tinder Maker. This is called Smith's Tinder Maker. Uh, look at that, man. That is like a cheese grater on the back end there. Wow, I've never, never seen a thing like this before. You got a cheese grater and you got a pencil sharpener. Uh, and then you got a, a, a ferro rod, it looks like. All right, I need the instructions on this one, man. Some of these survival gadgets, man, they get so complicated. Not much in the way of instructions. Oh, uh, okay, okay, I got you. It's kind of cool. There we go. Okay, so kind of neat. All right, so here what we got. Uh, we got this little container here, and we got the cheese grater. And let's say you have a, a stick. You put this underneath of a portion, and you take the cheese grater, and you start grating the wood, and you get some very fine, fine shavings in here. So it has to be pretty soft wood. And you just kind of start grinding away and you get a nice little pile of shavings there. And then you dump that out. And then you got your uh, ferro rod here. So after you have a nice shaving, pile of shaving, you just throw a spark on there. So it's everything all in one. So pretty cool, man. Uh, you know, if, if you've started a fire like this before, you know that having the right tinder makes a huge difference. Um, and so this will give you some very, very fine tinder to use, which is pretty interesting, man. I've, uh, I can definitely see the value of this. So there you go, guys, that is Smith's Tinder Maker. So next up in the basic box, we have a Ready Man uh, camper cleat. So we've seen Ready Man before, and usually they have those little cards, right? And the cards have all these different functions. This is something different, man. Uh, Ready Man's kind of uh, expanding a little bit, which is nice. Nice to see that. Cleat made to handle paracord in many ways, as you can think. So you get these two very lightweight guys. I'm guessing this is aluminum. And what it is, is you can feed a cord through there, and then you wrap it around, and these little teeth grab onto the cord to stop it from uh, moving anywhere. So uh, this is great if you're setting up like a tarp or a tent or something. You know, you have uh, like an excess cord that you don't want going, getting loose. You feed it through here and you kind of wrap it off. Let's see what I got. So here's some paracord here. Uh, you probably feed it through this little hole. And then when you cinch it down on these teeth, you won't be able to pull it out. Oh shit, yes you can. Okay, how about if you cinch it down on both teeth like that? And then like that, okay. See now, now it's really, really in there. So it kind of looks like a cleat that you would see uh, for sailboats, right, on a dock. It has a very similar design, but except those don't have teeth on them like this one does. But just like that, and you can easily cinch down this strand so you cannot pull it out, and then to undo it, it's just like that, you know, too easy. So I could definitely see this being really helpful when you are setting up a tarp or a hammock or a tent um, and you don't want to have to actually tie a knot in the cord, right? You just run it through here, you wrap it around once, cinch it, and that cord isn't going anywhere. So pretty cool. So this is by Ready Man and these are uh, their cinching cleats. All right, last up in the basic box, get these Gorilla Clips, right? These are called uh, Easy Clip Media Tarp Clip. So it looks like these clips are designed specifically for tarps, or clipping on the tarps. Man, again, another one of these complicated things. So let's take a look here. What the hell do we got going on? So that's gotta get pushed in. Okay, again, I need the instructions. 
I'm, uh, I'm just a simple, simple man here. So you press that button and then you, oh, okay, I gotcha. Man, too easy, uh, I think. All right, so what we got here is you got these two uh, plastic pieces, right? You feed a tarp through there, then you start pushing this guy back, and as he comes back, he gets compressed, and they push these two uh, clamps together, right? Just like that, and it locks in place with these teeth. Now, you have this guy attached to your tarp, right? Now look at that, you can feed your paracord through there. Just like that, and now you can uh, string up your tarp however you want and create a shelter. So this is great for if you have a tarp but you don't have eyes in them, you know, the little holes for uh, tying it down, or those eyes are always tearing. So you could use this uh, if you have an eye, the hole that is torn out of your tarp. And you probably also use this with uh, other things, like if you have a rain jacket, right, and you want to make a quick shelter out of that, uh, you can use this guy to quickly attach to it and then pull it taunt and tie it off somewhere to create a quick improvised shelter. So I definitely see the value in this guy as well. This is pretty neat. Uh, so you know, you get two of them in this box, which yeah, you could probably do something with that, but you know, I would, I mean, you kind of think like four, right? You get all four corners, but uh, do, do a little bit better. But there you go guys, that is your Gorilla Clip uh, tarp clips. So that is it for the basic box for this month, guys. So that'd be a $25 cost, and all of this would be a $60 value. So let's just recap real quick. You got your Gorilla Clip uh, tarp clips. You got your cheese grater, sorry, your wood grater. This is the um, your little fire starting kit by Smith. What is it called? This is the Smith Tinder Maker. It's actually pretty neat looking. I'm kind of excited about that. You got your high-end pocket chainsaw here. Very neat, man. Very comfortable. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you got your little ready man cleats here for uh, for cordage and everything. And then you got this mean motherfucker right here, which I'm guessing is for uh, just chopping up a dead body. Hopefully a deer or something, but some kind of, just, just some butchering right here. So there we go, guys. That's everything in the basic box for this month. And as always, I'll try to have as many links to these items down in the description as I can so you guys can find out more about them. So moving on to the advanced box, the first item we have is Wicked Tree Gear Wicked Tough Handsaw with Sheath. And that is a mouthful, and I'm pretty sure that's this guy here that says Wicked on him. So this should be a tree saw. Very tough sheath to get here. Oh, nice, nice. Yes, a handsaw. Handsaw, that's what I always call these, not a tree saw. Why is this stuck? There must be a lock somewhere that I am not seeing. Am I blind? What's going on here? What is going on? Uh, what? Slide out? Slide down? Slide over? Seriously? Oh, come on, man. Dude, come on. You look so cool, you got a rubber grip. I wanna play with you. I'm gonna have to look this guy up. All right, I don't know. All right, guys, I think I'm an idiot because like, I can't figure out how to open this thing. So let's just see, I don't know. That can't be it, dude. Maybe that takes the entire blade out. Then what the hell? So it's gotta be that back one, man. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, God damn it. So I just had to push that thing in. I didn't have to take it out. For crying out loud, man. All right, guys, I finally figured it out. So it's locked. You press this little guy in. Bam. So I gotta say, guys, just playing with this in the last few minutes, this uh, feels like some very solid work here. We got a cast iron aluminum body here uh, with some rubber grip down here, which is just really nice, really comfortable. Uh, and then this blade is just fierce, dude. It's like razor sharp. That looks like a lot of fun. So, uh, hand saws like this, like you really need one of these when you're out in the wild. Uh, you either need this or you need a great big bow saw. This is obviously much more compact. So if you're just doing like a couple of days or one night or something uh, overnight, something like this just for processing firewood, great tool. Uh, it's almost a necessity. Uh, if you guys have bug out bags, you obviously you need a hand saw like this in your bug out bag. It's one of like uh, the necessities of having a bug out bag. 
So I highly recommend something like this. And this definitely feels like a very high quality uh, handsaw. So there we go, guys. That is the Wicked Tough Wicked Tree Saw. Or what, what the hell is it? Wicked Tree Gear Wicked Tough Handsaw with Sheath. All right, so the next up in the advanced box we have, I'm a little confused by this one. This is the Arborist Throw Weight Throw Bag. Uh, so that's this guy here. It feels like it's full of pellets. Uh, it's got BattleBox and BattleBox logo on there. It's called a throw bag or a throw weight. I, I'm really not sure what the hell is this for, man. It kind of looks like a little mini grenade, but it's got uh, like a carabiner on top there. And it's like kind of a heavy uh, bean bag. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe you can throw it at animals or something. Uh, maybe it's just a weight. Uh, it says 300 grams. 10.6 ounces, so it's very precise weight on there. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna have to look this one up, guys. I really don't know what the hell this thing's for. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. So uh, one example of this is, let's say you're trying to tie up your food for the night to keep bears from getting at, at it or your gear. You want to, you see a big branch up there and you want to get the rope over the branch. You tie the rope to here, you throw it up over the branch and then it comes back down so you can tie a knot in it. Right? So that's what this thing's for. Uh, there's a lot of rescue situations uh, with similar uses where you can tie a rope to this. If somebody's stuck out in the water or something in the high rapids, throw a rope to this, sorry, attach a rope to this, throw this out to them. So let's just add some weight to it. it. It looks like it's mostly for rescue situations, but um, any other situations where you wanna string something up on a high branch, uh, this would come in come in handy. So probably not something I keep in like my bug out bag, but maybe in the back of your Jeep or something, or if you are going out camping and you specifically know ahead of time that you want to string something up, uh, a tarp or um, for a bear bag or something like that, then this would be a good uh, item to have along with you. You know, with these battle boxes, I'm always learning something new with these battle boxes. I'm always discovering stuff that I've never seen before. Uh, and this, a throw bag, that's definitely something I've not seen before, but I can definitely see the, the, the uh, functionality out of that. So there you go, guys. That is everything in the advanced box. So the advanced box, you get your throw bag. You get your, uh, your, hold on, it's a mouthful, Wicked Tree Gear, Wicked Tough Handsaw and Sheath. Uh, very high quality. Wow, this is a $50 uh, handsaw. It's very high quality. So the advanced box, you get this plus everything in the basic box. That would cost you 50 bucks, and that is a $134 value. All right, so moving along to the Pro Box. The Pro Box, the first item we get is, bam, this motherfucker right here. So this is the Outdoor Edge Saberback Bowie. Bowie, all right, it's a Bowie knife, Bowie, Bowie, Bowie. So check this guy out, man. I love it when we get multiple blades in these battle boxes. So even though this one here has a pretty specific purpose, I still love getting multiple blades. Uh, so this guy is huge, man. This is like Crocodile Dundee right here. Oh shit, look at that. Look at that curve in there, man. Man, wow, this this is surprisingly light. Uh, yeah, look at that design, man. This it, doesn't that just remind you of like the Spartan swords? This is they're probably not that much bigger than this actually. But that is beautiful. Yeah, that is just a beautiful curve you have there. You have a rubber grip. You got some really sharp teeth in the back here. So Outdoor Edge, we've seen them before. Uh, go check out their website, man. They do some really innovative and really neat designs on some classic things. They got some really neat um, knives. I think we've gotten a um, like a knife sharpener from them before. Out so Outdoor Edge, guys, they're pretty cool. Uh, and you know, obviously, you know, this is a pretty uh, pretty interesting design as well. This blade is made out of carbon spring steel and it has a powder coating on it. You got the sawtooth back here, which is meant for um, sawing away at wood. So just a real scary, scary knife, guys, here. Um, perfect timing for Halloween. Go around trick-or-treating in your clown costume with this guy. Man, I'm, you're guaranteed to get some screams. I'm joking. Don't be one of those assholes who's dressing up like clowns and 
going around neighborhoods scaring people. That shit's not cool. All right, and it's got a large uh, nylon sheath as well. It has multiple grommets on it for uh, attaching to multiple locations, you know, wherever you want it, on your belt, on your leg, on your backpack. They got you covered. All right, so that is the Outdoor Edge Saberback Saw. So next up, we get a Battle Box tarp. Awesome, man. This is perfect for building your own tarp shelter. So a lot of people opt for tarp shelters because it's just so lightweight um, and so versatile. I mean, this is your entire shelter system right here. It can't weigh more than one or two pounds. Uh, you can easily fold this up and put it in any backpack. And as long as you know what you're doing, you know, this will be enough to keep you dry at night and hopefully keep you warm, protect you from the elements. So this is a 12 by nine and a half ripstop tarp uh, with water coating. So let's take a look at how big this guy actually gets. There you go, that is definitely large enough to build a nice shelter, and this is actually still quarter and a half, but it's even larger than that. Check that out. Beautiful, man. And it's got the, uh, the Battle Box logo right there. Very nice. So this also comes with these nylon straps in all four corners, and then throughout it, it has uh, some of these eyelets here as well. So this is absolutely meant for building a, uh, a shelter, right? This is definitely a, a tarp that's meant for a shelter, not for covering your, you know, your, your lawnmower in the wintertime or something. This is a shelter tent right here. And this is be perfect for a, a bug out bag. So that's it for the Pro Box, guys. You get your exclusive Battle Box shelter tarp right here. Yeah, you can only get this with Battle Box, very cool. And then you get this big ass Bowie knife, right? Two items that would go great inside your bug out bag, right? You got your shelter, you got your knife, you're, you're halfway there to having a complete bug out bag. Well, okay, maybe like a quarter of the way. So that's everything in the Pro Box, and that would be $99, and this month's Pro Box is worth $240. All right, guys, so moving on to my favorite part of these battle boxes, and that is the Pro Plus box. And this is why this box is so huge this month. This is the Zippo 4-in-1 Woodsman's Tool. So check this guy out. Bam, look at that bad boy. So what you have here is an ax, as well as a bow saw, as well as like two or three other things. I don't even know. Let's, let's jump in there and see what we get with this guy. All right, so here we have it, guys. This is uh, the four-in-one outdoor tool. So again, we gotta figure out how, to, how this thing works. I see a knob here, I'm gonna loosen it up and see what happens. Oh, look at that, there we go. Oh man, look at that fucking blade. That is beautiful, man. That is like, a, uh, like an Indian tomahawk right there. So obviously we have the ax here with this beautiful blade. Then on the back, we have a hammer for nailing in spikes. Uh, let's put this cover back on before I go and hurt myself, because I am pretty accident prone. All right, so we got two of the functions. Let's figure out what the other two are. So I think that there is a, uh, there are blades for the um, bow saw. Yeah, look at that. It comes two bow saw blades built into the handle. Oh, okay, I bet you they connect to this guy here. Let's loosen him up. I think you gotta open this guy up, there we go. So loosen this guy up, open him up like that. You line that up, you close this guy. Look at this crazy thing, man, okay. So now, okay, so that goes down, and then this comes back, and bam, dude, look at that. I got me a bow saw. I'd probably hold it something like this, I would imagine. So remember before I was saying, uh, if you're really spending the night somewhere, you really need a handsaw. Where'd my handsaw go? Right, if you're spending the night out in the woods, whether you're bugging out or just going camping, uh, it, you really need a handsaw like this for processing wood. So you need a handsaw like this, or you need a bow saw like this. This is a little bit more serious. This is for processing some more serious wood. Um, this would be great if you're going out for multiple nights out in the wild, right? Uh, you know, this would be good for a short term, one or two nights. But if you want to process some real wood, uh, this is what you need. Very, man, very neat, very innovative. All right, so we found two of the functions 
sorry, we found three of the functions. It says there's four functions. Uh, that's this little handle right here. So when you have tent stakes in the ground, instead of having to bend over and wiggle them out, uh, they have a little hook on them. You hook this guy on them and you pull the tent stakes out from around your tent. Okay, I'll give that one to you, sure. That one's a little weak, but the other three functionalities are fucking badass. Uh, very cool, man. You know, anytime you can save space inside your, uh, your camping bag, I'm all for that. And this just combines two, three, you know, other tools that I would need. And I know you're always concerned with um, durability when you have uh, lightweight tools like that. So we'd have to see how long this lasts, uh, how many times you can miss the wood and fucking hit the handle of the ax before this thing starts breaking. But uh, we'll see. So there you go, guys. This is the Pro Plus right here, okay? So this is the Zippo Outdoor Man 4-in-1 uh, Woodsman's Tool. Very nice. So that is everything in the Pro Plus box. So you get this, you get everything in the Pro, the Advanced, the Basic box. So the Pro Plus is $150 a month. This month's box comes in at a $320 value. Very cool, man. You get a lot of value with these uh, the battle boxes. Get a lot of savings. You know, part of the reason is because they buy this stuff in bulk. You know, you pay a retail price for this. They're buying probably a couple thousand of them. They get them a lot cheaper. And they can pass that savings on to you, man. Battle box is a cool deal. Uh, I can al always recommend them, guys. Go check them out. Battlebox.com. So that's it, guys. That's everything in Mission 20's box for October 2016. Remember, I'll have all these items down in the description below if you want to find out more about any of these items.